I'm filming on a building site. Hello, it's me again. I try to separate out these facts about videos because I don't want to appear too samey if at all possible. But if I didn't do this one now, we'd have to wait for another four years. So sorry for another one so soon, but on with the show. Leap years happen every four years to compensate for the fact that the Earth does not take an exact number of days to orbit the Sun. It takes not 365 days to do a full circuit, but 365 and a quarter. And so every four years we squatch together those quarter days and plonk an extra 24 hours at the end of February. I take back that comment from a couple of weeks ago about physics not being a strong point because that was a superb explanation. Leap years are so called because by adding those extra 24 hours at the end of February, all other dates then leap forward two days instead of the normal one. But if leap years happened, but not regularly, so that nobody knew exactly when we were gonna have one, we could call them creep leap years. If there was a natural phenomenon that meant that on the 29th of February, lambs actually started jumping over fences instead of just doing so in people's imagination as they tried to fall asleep, we could call it sheep leap years. If on 1 29th of February, there was a big explosion at the chloroform factory and a huge gas cloud descended over a nearby town, then the locals would probably refer to that year as the deep sleep leap year. Leap years were invented by the Romans. Seriously, I need to do a more modern fact video soon. That's twice in a row that joke's failed now. Damn Romans actually inventing everything. Babies born on the 29th of February are called leaplings. Hold on, has every single fact so far been an actual fact or an extremely hilarious pun. This will never do. In 2004, the head of the Leapling Society started a petition that every 29th of February should be a public holiday on the grounds that those born on the day only get a proper birthday 25% of the time. And he felt that therefore they shouldn't have to work on it. Unfortunately, the petition got nowhere. He wasn't taken seriously because technically he was only six years old because he was a Leapling and had only had six proper, it's hilarious, hilarious joke. Moving on. If you've given up something for Lent, you can have it on the 29th of February. It doesn't count. Because it was sneaky of them to add in an extra day after you'd committed to giving that thing up. I don't know who they are in this scenario. Presumably some kind of Lent authority. In non-leap years, February is rather pleasing 28 days long, which is exactly four weeks. And there are those who don't like an extra day being added onto the end of February because it messes up the symmetry. These anti-leapers believe that we should abolish all future 29th of Februarys and instead add an extra six hours onto the 31st of December each year as a kind of extended New Year's Eve party. Of course, that completely messes up day and night, so don't think about that one too much. His buzz to distract you with something profound. I am Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger. Thanks, Buzz. And finally, if you're a woman who wants to get engaged to a partner, then get a ring ready because you're allowed to propose on the 29th of February or any other day. Seriously, what a ridiculously stupid tradition that one is. <laughs> that was a bit of an aggressive ending, sorry about that. Here's Buzz again. I'm picking up Zerg on my scatter. Hi again, my name is Rebecca and I post a new video every Wednesday. Tell me some more facts about leap years in the comments or don't. I mean, tell me what you had for breakfast, if you'd prefer. I made pancakes because I'd run out of bread for toast and porridge is a weekday chore, not a weekend treat. So, now you know. I feel like there should be a reward for anybody who sticks around for this rubbish end bit every week. Me telling you what I had for breakfast probably isn't it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I will be back next week. In the meantime, please remember to work hard, laugh harder, and always accept a hug. Bye.